Hello and welcome to another installment of Discovery. Today on Sunday instead of Saturday, the usual day, because I tried recording one of Viva Pinata on the Xbox 360 yesterday and the recording failed. So here we have Tesla Effect on the PC, a game published by Atlas, so you know it's gonna be great. Also, it has FMV cutscenes from what I saw of the screenshots. Other than that, I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's a point and click adventure story game. Mystery. That looks like a noir detective kind of guy up there. That's what I assume this is going to be. So let's hit play and discover what this game is. Got this game again in... Uh, or maybe we can be G-Rex Squiggly. Uh, where is Squiggly? There it is. Nope, no Squigglies. Alright. And, uh, uh, this game was in a Humble Bundle so at some point, and that's how I got it without knowing what it is. Like a lot of games. While using the flashlight, sparkles will appear around objects that can be picked up. The in-game hint system is accessible. Using it costs points. Score puzzles may be score some puzzles may be skipped, a very small text there, from the menu. Doing so costs points. Uh, gamer mode or casual mode? I don't like the distinction there. Mm, puzzles may not be skipped. Well, let's... I am a gamer, but I like to play games to have fun. So, I don't... This just Gamer mode just seems to be frustration. I don't play games to be frustrated. If you want to criticize me for that, I mean, you can play games and be frustrated. Oh that doesn't have to Is affect me. Dream? No. Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the, the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, God cannot even fathom this evil. Me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. I like uh, God's voice actor. Sounds like Keith David. 7,000 members of the Mutant League community, they made a bunch of money for this game. Tex is back! Evidently this is the sequel to something. Big Finish Games presents... A Tex Murphy adventure. There's some Tesla stuff going on over there. That's cool. Tesla effect. Wow. Chris Jones. Steve Valentine. Mm-hmm. Jody. Shannon. And of course, Todd. Who could forget? Mr. Norton. How you doing? Thomas. Larry. Sewell. 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 Suzanne Barnes. Chunel Lockhart. Kevin Murphy is smart Alex. New San Francisco 2050. Hello, Tex. I'm loving the Blade Runner look. Place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. Looks really good. Heard of it. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a PI. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others seek to assess people of lies. 
Cesspool of lies. I'm liking this game already. It's starting off really impressive. And he wears a hat. Eyes on the sky road, buddy. Mitsuri Tanaka. Oh. That was somewhat racist. Pretty racist, actually. But even a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. As they do. Leading you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side, and then do anything you can to stay alive. The Game of Thrones. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. What are you about to do? The Ritz Hotel. There was a time when I would have never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this. But maybe Judas would understand. Hmm. It's weird, like, that background is computer, but he is the man. It's kind of weird. Five hours later. Like, you could have just made a set for that, you didn't have to make that wall CG. I can't look, it's black. I think we got him. Let's get out of here. Day one. <laughs> or the seven year ouch. Okay, so they mess him up and steal his car. Once all the cars just look the same. Hey you, over here. I'm a piece of plastic. Finally. What was all that commotion outside anyway? How's a you really got a head on the head. Remember me, your old pal Huck? No. Seriously, you look clueless. I am. Uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Okay, so well, character starts off with amnesia. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Sure. Activating tutorial mode. Let's begin. See, this character has amnesia so that I, the new player, can understand. This button takes you to your inventory. Items you pick up along the way can be viewed and used from here. To take a closer look at an item, select it and then click the examine icon. The examine feature often gives clues about the object. This is your map, where you can view your current location or warp to other locales. Warp. This icon is our handy dandy building system. It is the future. System. It will list tasks for each location. 
This is your flashlight. If you are in a particularly dark environment, you can turn on this flashlight to help you out. If you're playing in casual mode, when the beam of light from the flashlight shines on an object that needs to be picked up, the object will sparkle. This is the look icon. If you want to look at an object without interacting with it, press this icon. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. The use icon allows you to interact with Money. an object in the environment. Benjamin Franklin still there? This icon will flash in the corner confirming an item has been picked up and placed in the inventory. To exit out of the Smart Alex game interface, click on the giant X in the middle. Let's start by picking up an item to add to the inventory. Walk over to the corner shelf and pick up the broken record. Oh man, my Gene Autry record's broken in two. Now let's take a look at this new addition in your inventory. Return to the Smart Alex interface and click on the inventory icon. Look, the broken record! <gasps> Examine the broken record to hear a clue about what to do with it. Some glue to repair this broken record. Exit your inventory by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Well, let's try picking up another inventory item. Navigate to the desk and pick up the bottle of glue. It's a bottle of stupid glue. Now, <laughs> stupid glue. Again. You now have both the broken record and the bottle of glue. Let's try. Is there smart glue? Two inventory items. I don't understand. Select the broken record and drag it to one of the combination slots below. Now, select the glue and drag it to the other combination slot. Is that how records I'm work? I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Success! You have now created a vinyl record. Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. Weird. Try using the vinyl record on your Victrola player in your office. To use an inventory item, simply point at the target, open the inventory, select an item, and then press the Use icon. I close my ah, Gene Autry, the singing cowboy. Nice choice of music. One more thing. To access of course, I don't know how records work at all. From here, how does it play sound? Game, it's magic. Menu, explore the help Doesn't even contain data. Yep, that's all there is to it. Now let's get back to your actual case. Load and load. Okay, there we go. Thought that was gonna take forever. Maybe it still will. Here we go. We're in it now. I am Tex Murphy in this first-person shooter. An alien home companion by Archie Ells. What does he have here? Egg enigmas. Fascinating egg stories, the and then there's, there's the book of psychometry. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. The vid phone. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. AKA Skype. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. And in case I see something I want to purchase. Oh boy. A fax. Huh! A fax! Okay. Let's have to look at our fax here. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. I love this future in which fax machines are a thing. Well, it's another Mike and I camera candy comic, Key Lime Largo. My friend Louie runs the Bruin Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. I see my credenza is still keeping dust off the floor. Okay. Yeah, it's a picture of pre-World War III San Francisco. <laughs> Pre-World War III. My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. I'm liking this guy. I'm liking this game. It has a... I don't remember my office furniture being so nice. What happened? It has some interesting stories in it. These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. School of Dance. Feet. Correspondent School Private Investigation. These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You uh... have to pay a fee. 
the University of Investigation of Utah. Okay. One of my golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. So is he from the past? I mean, it seems interesting that he uh, has a bunch of, like, this record player and, you know, records, as well as, you know, stuff like pre-World War III pictures and whatnot. If he somehow got transported into the future or something like that. Or maybe he just really likes history. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Okay. Well, let's fix that broken record like oh, they want man, us to. This record's broken in two. It was always useful. Always. Combine! I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me, and frankly, I love it. Yay. So... Didn't teach me how to use things. Ah, my old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my 78s. Okay. How do I... Use. There we go. I close my eyes and dream of one. The one my camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and I camera. I try to collect all their candy comics. Uh, the Big Finish Detective by your Aaron Colners. To me, that book I picked up earlier was a collectible. It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. When did I change these? Hmm. Where are the files? Is there a crouch? How do I access that flashlight? Q, F, F for flashlight. Well, this happened on my first case. I was in the shootout of my life at the warehouse district. Hmm? Uh... Okay, this is still video, I'm not controlling anything. I took a bullet, and while I was recovering, I swore I was always going to use my brains before brawn. Smart move. We can go outside. I feel like there might still be stuff in here. Like these Salsa footprints. dancing is a Murphy family tradition. Oh, okay. He is a dancer. Got your guitar here. Oh, man. My Richie Haven's signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. Dumb man. Sometimes, I wish I had a talking gumball machine as my wacky sidekick. Right, nothing in there. This is Owl. Or a Falcon. I remember picking up this little souvenir. How long was I knocked out? Seven years. Whoa. I've never seen this I don't know how you've life. been able to subsist this is my money. in a coma You're without medical attention. Footrest. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. <laughs> Okay. The government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. Yeah, I remember years ago, I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure, and I realized I devoured several chapters, and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the, I'll get you, Miffy, if he's the last thing I do. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. Okay. Yeah, not many people wake up from blackouts with... I certainly don't remember this piece of furniture. Looks like a genuine antique instead of something I normally get at a white elephant sale. Perfect. All I need is one good night stand. And it's a sitting room. Good, good for, for sitting. Sitting? Yeah, San Francisco looks way different now. 
Interesting. Ah, that was for my first jackalope. So I guess he just likes antiques. Someday, I hope to collect all of the Mike okay. and Okay, so those are the ones I've collected. I assume. Well, I had the store permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. Very. Let's uh, explore out here then. So it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. What is that thing, though? It's an empty vial. Okay. Not suspicious at all. Heck, Malden. That buffoon always got credit for cases I solved. Oh, him. The problem with vidphones is you can't call anyone from the bathroom anymore. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> the ultimate game of Battleship. Okay. The ultimate game of Battleship. How so? Ah, uh, the Presidio. I mean, the Palace of Fine Arts. No, wait, is it the Museum of Science? San Francisco just has too many landmarks. Never been. I'd like to go to San Francisco. Seems like a cool Some place. Some pretty intense staring contests have been held right here. Huh. A door between two ferns. I, I guess. A door between two ferns. Time to get a new clock. If a bell is on the front desk, I could ring it and talk to the clerk. But there's not. Domineering school? Have you been a bad boy? Well, this is a flashy new neighbor. Mm. That'll get interesting, I'm sure. Going straight to the top. Well, I had the store permanently sealed okay. as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous. Yeah, needs a key. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. People who stay here at the Ritz don't want to be found. Hmm. Yeah, needs a key. This hand oh, here. That doesn't look good. Yeah, needs a key. Can't interact with that door at all. All right. This rug is used to cover the horrid stains that reside underneath. As rugs are often used to do. Can I try that door? No, can't interact with these. All right, he seemed very concerned about a new stand. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. There's a robot here. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Archie helped me out on my Pandora directive case where we met a charming he works for the named NSA. Jackson Cross. I'm gonna do you the favor of a lifetime. I'm gonna let you walk. But if I catch you meddling in NSA affairs one more time, I'm gonna put a bullet right in your eyeball. Is that clear? Get this puke head out of my office. He does puke a lot. I'll be watching you, Murphy. You are the NSA, that's what you do. Man, I thought this would have ended up in the Andes Mountains. Three cards at midnight isn't open right now. I'll have to try back later. I want fun masks. It's closed. Most businesses on Chandler Avenue won't open until later. 
the Knights the Templar. Fun mass building has been converted into a Knights of the Templar clubhouse. Weird. Well, wanted to find out what happened to that newsstand. Maybe there's stuff in there, but seemed to want us to go over to this uh, electronics thing. Look at these shells. Where is he? He's up at the window. Okay, so they're shooting from there up here. Someone was shooting from the top of the electronics shop. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. No one knows these back alleys. It looks like the dumpster escaped. What? No one knows these back. He's injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. Okay. Someone was getting abducted. It looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. No jumping. So they weren't after Tex Murphy. I guess Tex Murphy just kind of saw what was happening and they tried to take him out. Oh, another Mike and Ike hammer. Oh yeah. Candy cane confidential. Another one. Ah, uh, it's a Mike and Ike hammer candy cane. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I... Yeah, it's just a bunch of junk. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Go under this thing. Yeah, the city of old San Francisco picks up the trash once a year. I think we're getting close to our date. It's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious smugglers and petty criminals. How do I get in? It's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious I imagine there would be clues inside. It's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious smugglers and petty It's down here, then. Well, yeah, looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. That's a Mike and Ike Hammer Candy comic. The sweet and okay. sour lady. I gotta get some hints, I guess. Rack back at the office. It's the sewer to Chandler Avenue. And I never go in there unless I really, really have to. Understandable. Something here. Nothing but destroyed homes and buildings for blocks in all directions. But each year, something menacing grows up through the decay. This is an interesting world here. There's a lot of decayed, broken buildings. World War III messed things up, I guess. Challenging Inspector. Inspector Byrne has finally opened his own barbecue joint. I bet it tastes just like arson in your mouth. Probably. Historical landmark. This neighborhood has recently been protected under the Anti Antiquities Act as one of the last remaining original 20th century neighborhoods. This area will soon be fully restored. This laser net security system has been provided to protect this area from vandalism and criminal mischief. Doesn't seem to have done a good job. Oh, okay. It is actually doing a good job. It's over here then. Now that's a handsome devil. Wait a minute. Arrival PI. <laughs> oh man, how did this happen? It's locked. I won't be able to enter without proper identification. Oh, what is this here? Can I go up it? I can. Sneak it. Stealthy. Oh, there's nothing up here. That's disappointing. Don't just jump down the ladder, no. Alright, he said something about going to a place where they serve some alcohol, I would assume. Is it this thing? Looks like it. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. Let's go in then. Hey there. Ah, oh, hello, stranger. Hello. Straight to the case. Confused. Pinch me. Hmm. 
I'll go confused. Straight to the case. I don't know who this person is, or if they have anything to do with anything. I don't know what that means, so I am confused. So we here. He's in the back, getting ready to open. You're up awfully early. Want some coffee? Mm, metaphor or less. My way. I. What is these? I don't understand. Mm. Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Make the Armageddon blend. Blend, but just a touch of I know how you like it. Like your women. In real life, there seems to be a vehicle backing up, going beep, beep, beep. I don't know if you can hear that or not, so I apologize. Out of my control. Uh, somewhat reluctant is how I will respond to that, assuming that that is how Tex Murphy goes about his business. Yeah, okay. Just this once. Don't be bashful, cowboy. I like a man who can hold his liquor. Hmm. Oh, I can hold it all right. It's just when I drink it, I get really drunk really fast. <laughs> That's not... Is that blood? No. Oh, don't touch it. We don't pick in fights again. <laughs> Stranger danger. Maybe I should go find Louie. You shouldn't go drinking without me. Next time, call me and we'll get sloshed together. I don't know who you are. Back oh, geez, off. I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. Please, go see Dr. Donahue at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Uh, see you, Taylor. Okay. I guess they have some history and it's just that amnesia taking effect. Mr. Murphy. What are you doing here? Hmm. Buddy speak. Shock and oh? Her. Mr. Murphy? Come on, Louie. What happened to Moy? Is this something I can do for you? Because if not, you got stuff to do in the back. Times, they are changing. Why are you acting mad at me? You know why. You drunk again? I told you. You ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. Hmm. There's a bathroom mirror. Okay. I don't feel drunk. It's just my brain's a little foggy. What happened to your head? What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up okay, maybe that's a bit mean. I'm sorry, I man. I my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you, everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember uh, before you woke up? Uh, I don't know, but something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? 2050. Year. Are you serious? No. It's, it's 2043. 2043. It's 2050. Jeez. Oh, Look at that calendar. Over there? On the fridge? Dun 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 dun. What the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was, uh, very, very attractive. Oh, Ew. no! No! What? It's me! Look! Somebody has stolen our car! I mean, here I am, my speeder's stolen out here, I'm sitting on a great... God, that was hot! Oi! Uh, would you guys like to lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I... Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? Yep, worse. Oh, no! He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He shot me. 
Shot in the heart, and you're to blame. Why isn't there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. That doesn't make sense. What the hell is that? Snake bite. Looks like you got injected with something. Venom from a snake. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. Hmm. So what happened to her? What about Chelsea? Where is she? I mean, is she okay? You said to never say nothing about her. Never again. Okay. Louis. I don't know what kind of bastard I turned into over these last seven years. This is me, Tex. You gotta tell me where Chelsea is. Louis, please tell me. That night, you and Chelsea just disappeared. You showed up a few weeks later. You, you couldn't remember nothing then, neither. But Chelsea, she never showed up. Does not bode well. Overwhelming realization. This is too much for me to get my head around. All I want to do right now is find out what happened to Chelsea. The cops have to have a file on this. I gotta get down there and talk to them. You shouldn't be driving in your condition. I'll call you a cab. Uh... What's this then? Guess all the stuff I can talk about. Yeah. I wish I could tell you everything you can't remember. But I don't know much. You and Chelsea went missing, and then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. A couple of days after, you was gone again. I only saw you a few times after that. A couple of years went by, and then you came back and. Something bad had happened to him. And you, as his friend, decided to turn against him. Hard. Until now. I mean, you just got worse. You got to where I didn't even want you around anymore. Gotta help your friends back. Don't just turn against them. That's what we, we need to know about. Too much of that stuff around here anymore. Cops have been good about cleaning things up. Doesn't look like it if you go outside. Just a bunch of rubble. Maybe I believe you. I don't got a ladder. You might want to check at Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of animations. Hmm. So I can sneak in there. Gotta go to some hotel and steal a ladder. Uh. I don't know what any of this other stuff is, so I'm gonna X I out. Go to the North Hill Clinic. Not now. I need to investigate the crime scene to find out what happened before the police arrive. So there's some other hotel. That one. They've been doing renovations, and I need to get their ladder. Yeah, this uh, this street doesn't speak to me as a street well guarded by the police. Wow, this place really has been renovated. I guess that dumbbell Ardo must have come into some money. But as I walk to the counter, I suspect this place is under new management. Holograms are people too. True dad. Welcome to the Golden Gate Hotel. How can I help you? Mr. Murphy? That's neat. Whatever happened to... Did you know Ardo, the guy who worked here before? I wonder whatever happened to that big, lovable moron. Ardo Newpop, California State Senator. Ooh. And on fire safety platform. Fire safety. An important thing in the future.
Let's be friends. It's very impressive. Nice to have some class around the joint. But you can drop the Mr. Murphy thing. Call me Tex. No, thank you. The last time I tried that, you're all... I'm a professional. You should be treated as <laughs> such. Some stuff I just look like that. Management hurt, but I didn't get any time off. Man. And that was supposed to be me? How do you know so much about me anyway? Unlike you tangibles, we have computer brains. Man, some counter racism of the holograms. So, you got a name? <laughs> you know very well who I am. Hologram, cute, right? Tangibles just can't resist a pun. <sighs> Us tangibles, your ridiculous statement. Spell check humor. Funny people. Oh yeah, we humans love the lowest form of humor. Speaking of which, holograms are people too. I mean, what kind of a joke is that? Mmm. So Just like women's rights. rights I hate to tell you this, but holograms aren't people. And I have to know because I've dated a few. That's exactly he has hologram friends. Minorities, women, and mutants. It's our turn now. I'm officially on strike. Dun dun dun. The time has come. Well, I support you 100%. I believe everybody deserves That is not what you just said. Really? You're the last person I thought I'd hear that from. Everyone in this neighborhood's afraid of you, you know. Maybe in the last, when he was saying they weren't people, he was just being sarcastic, being a jerk. IT 101. I bet your file on me might be corrupted. Mind if I ask a few diagnostic questions? Sure. Though I should warn you, I don't get out much. Okay, tell me about that. I heard gunshots, and then the speeder came flying out and took off. Thank you. You have been really useful. Tell me about myself. Now that I know you support the hologram rights movement, I may have to evaluate my opinion of you. She is my friend. Oh, you know me. Just a hologram. Here to serve my tangible oppressors. You don't have to. Find your own place in the world. I need a we ladder. We everything like that over at the Snow White Warehouse. Okay, Snow White Warehouse. You should look around the hotel lobby and see if there's anything here that could help me out. Flashlight. I don't got time for this. Something over here. Key. It's a key to a lockbox. I don't see anything else. Well, hopefully, ballroom renovations include installing actual ball pit. Only guests of this hotel are allowed entrance through here. Well, I guess I got the key to a lockbox. Need to find a warehouse. Uh, that looks like something. Yep, says warehouse. White snow. There it is. How about that? I'm pretty sure every one of your cases involves the Snow White Warehouse somehow. It's a shifty place. A key. I have a key. Uh. Use. Ha. Ah. Okay. Uh. -huh. Darn. 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 Oh, that's not what I want. How do I exit out of this? It's locked and I need to find a way to open it. Okay. Guess I'll go into this suspicious alleyway. And this is where I will live the rest of my life. Hmm. Good evening, ladies and charms. I'm your entertainer tonight, Mr. Franco Espinosa. I'm gonna be playing some songs that I know you'll love. Homeless musician.
I'm not liking the song. Eh. <laughs> Good stuff. I've, I've come around well, the on it. Gate Hotel was so famous they named a bridge after it. Oh yeah. Huh. Didn't make that connection. I doubt that is why. No, you got it the other way around. He doesn't know that though. It's the future. I like that kind of stuff. How people analyze history, etc. San Francisco. Neighborhood has reason. Okay. That's the Coit Tower. Okay. Cool. Neato. Don't know anything about that tower in real life, so this means nothing to me. I wonder if there's anything in here still. A code. Maybe she'll tell me. Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? Bad. I've heard they keep a key or something to get inside the warehouse by the door. Okay, by the door. I have the key. But I need the pass. Yep, that's the Snow White Warehouse. Yep. Yep, that's the Snow White Warehouse. So it is. And that's not useful. Hmm. Oh, this is... Ah! Here we go. What do you got here? It's like instructions to get into the Snow White Warehouse. Read! What do we got here? 4268. It's like instructions to get into the Snow White Warehouse. Okay. That's not what I need. 4268. Master Detective. What do we got here? Mutant novelties. Is this still here? I use this to deal with a cunning criminal on my unkilling moon case. I have a bad case of bozophobia. Hmm. Must be some mutant racism back in the day. That has since been suppressed. Now it's the hologram's turn for freedom. I'd be scared too. Let's be honest. <laughs> I heard okay. he had my name tattooed on his knuckles, and he wants to show me firsthand when he gets out of prison. I'm not really looking forward to that. <laughs> sex offenders. Some familiar name on the Chandler Avenue sex offender list. Interesting. Anyway, I need a ladder. I don't see one. Don't know what that did. Well, there's a ladder over there, though. What's this? Tex Murphy had uncovered the greater secret in the history of the world, and there were some who would stop at nothing to protect. Looks like an interesting read. It is. Looks like an interesting read. Oh, can't pick it up or do anything there. But I have access to ladder. Go off that jump. Well, now that I have, well, now that I have a ladder, I'm just carrying this ladder. Yep, that's the Snow White Warehouse. Glad I don't have to load in and out of those. That seems like a thing that would happen. Savant School for the Intellectually Gifted. Hey, that's my ex-wife's boyfriend. Hey. The green screen leads me to believe that they're going to Photoshop someone else in later. <laughs> If I trust this guy. Maybe these are developers. Get a haircut, hippie. You know, I can appreciate any man who wears a turtleneck. PI rule number 47. Never trust anyone with a monocle. I think I borrowed money from this guy once. Or actors. Must be a pilot. Only pilots wear scarves. True. What is this guy, man? Unless you're cold. I wear a scarf in the cold. No, oh, no basement. Oh, a whole bunch of pictures. Most likely to be a beatnik. 
Yep. Must have been class president. It's like he's looking through me. <laughs> Most likely to become president? Uh-huh. Hmm. Captain of the football team. Looks like someone woke on the wrong side of the bed. John Lennon? <laughs> that was my thought, too. Okay, Tex. Oh, she looks good in purple. Yep. He's almost too serious. Hmm. Not serious enough. Okay. Oh, he looks great in a suit. He does. Beetle office isn't taken seriously. Right shocks. And this guy. Most likely to become a famous actor. Class of 2022. Very distinguished. Very. Now well, that's a nice smile. It is. I wonder what he's looking at. Oh, winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> he seems stern, yet fair. <laughs> Definitely a physics major. Mr. Congeniality. Cat. Meow. Good one. Someone get this guy a comb. Well, this joke ought to take a bit of headshot seriously. Yeah, don't do the crime. You can't do the time. Most likely to start a Fortune 500. Whoa, that player be mean mugging me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Most likely to start an NGO. What a strong jawline you have. It's all right. And look at these people. Oh, here we go. Judas couple, class of 2022. Class clown. Class most likely visit all sin comments. Uh, most likely lose his keys at a painful boy concert. I hope this wasn't his Christmas card. If William and Macy were more handsome, he'd look a bit. He looks a little too young to be in here. Yeah. This is a school of savants, this though. This guy looks like that famous actor who was in all those movies. Uh, sure. The Cardinal. Get this guy an agent. Yeah, alright. There's more! Most laid back, class of 2020. Most likely to marry for money. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna look at these later. <laughs> I'm enjoying that, though. How far up does it go? All the way to the top, I would assume. There's nothing up here, but a clue. It's a Mike and I camera candy comic. This became a highly sought after neighborhood post World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. All right. Spent way too much time looking at this stuff. Very interesting. Indeed. Yeah, the city of old San Francisco picks up the trash once a year. I think we're getting close to our date. Anyway. Anyway. I just need to figure out where to put this ladder. I would assume right here. Nice graffiti art. That was a waste of time. Hmm? Well, right here. Nice ladder. It is a nice ladder. Where am I supposed to put it then? Yeah, that's the only open window. What do you mean that's a waste of time? Well, that was stupid. How is it stupid? I don't... Guess I better not be too creative, because it won't work. I don't understand. Thought that was what I was getting the ladder for. has to work. There's no other way. Man, I don't even know what I was trying to do. To put the ladder down. <sighs> Maybe I saw an out. Nice graffiti art. It looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Well, what am I supposed to do with this ladder then? What was the ladder for? Hmm. And there's an open window up there. I need to get inside. Eh. That was a waste of time. How's this? <sighs> hmm. It's an electronic shop now, but it once was a boarding house for some of San Francisco's most notorious smugglers and petty criminals. So I'll go in here. Behind Rook's pawn shop is a dirty, ugly. <laughs> Yeah, actually, what is that? 
broken zipline trolley. Okay. Too bad the zipline trolley is broken. It's missing. Now if I find a wheel, that'll do something. Inspector Bruce is buying out the barbecue shit. I bet it tastes just like ours in your mouth. to work, he'll unlock it. So I'll check back later. Why would a little gremlin like Rook have a basketball hoop? Why indeed. There's a new ladder here. These dumpsters of how huh? not a Pepsi. Door just painted on. <laughs> Oh, there's something there, though. An anvil. Probably for something later, though, I would suspect. Mm, I remember the day I came back to my office and that Grinsley signed. Well, that's gross. Just a head floating in there, I guess. I tried for an hour to get Pug's head out of the walk cooler, but it was no dice. The police showed up and thought about grilling me until they realized Pug was a mutant. And it was like they couldn't care less. Hmm. I guess people are a sad. Against them not taking that bottle back to the closet. These dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. <sighs> it's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make room. What was this ladder for? Maybe I can zip line across if I can find a wheel to this thing. I'm supposed to pick this up, I guess. The tower, the Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working. Well, let's look at it. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was. Hmm. This is the brew and stew run by Luca Mendes. You know, I never actually see anyone working on this street. Maybe I can use the ladder on this thing. Oh. Alright. I better not be deteriorated because it won't work. I just don't get... I just don't get... I'm no detective, but you need to find a- <sighs> Was I just not looking at that thing? Okay. 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 That's great. I like That's video right. games. Have to be looking at the window. Here we go. We're in here now, though. Yeah, Lewis told me these rooms were used by black and smugglers during Prohibition. There were hidden panels in rooms where they hide their stash. Close the saloons. If you believe that traffic and alcohol does more harm than good, help stop it. Please vote against the sale of liquors. That's a damn shame. I was looking diligently to get a free sub at Inspector and Barbecue. Hmm. This card from a rival detective? What the hell? I'm also in here. The truth. Huh? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Have out, maybe it's like a Simon Says machine. Okay, yellow. What? Okay. 
pink, yellow, blue, purple, yellow. That one's more complicated. Oh, up there. And then that one. So that one. Nope. Yellow, orange, red. That. Yellow. Yellow, orange. Nope. Then that one. Yay! Orange, blue. It's getting more complicated. I can't keep up. Okay. Orange, blue. Okay, got that one. Nope. Blue. No, oh, what? Okay. Blue. Why? Well, I keep saying this three times and I keep not doing it. What is wrong with me? So then that one. Then this one. No. Over here. And then that one. Do this one at a time. <sighs> wrong. Then that, then that, then that, then that. Okay. There, 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 there. This one? No. The orange one. There. There. No, I need the blue one. Got ahead of myself. I'm forgetting the earlier stages of this. Okay. Then this one. No. The orange one. Yes. So this. Then this. Then this. Then this. Then this. Then this. And this? No. Blue, then that one. Uh, orange. There we go. Okay. Alright. So we've opened this panel. There's a dead guy in there. Maybe not a dead guy, he's just holding a gun. Maybe he's dead. Or frozen. I think he's dead. He's dead. They got him before he could open fire. Are the people who were shooting him earlier. The intrigue. Your wound is healing up there, it seems, Mr. Tex. Now let's get to work. No one's hired him. He's not getting paid for this. And now he's trapped. Okay. Day two. Tex gets his or dial M for moron. All right, I think that'll do it. 
Smart like said I won't, but I wasn't gonna let him have the satisfaction of knowing so. There was one good thing about spending an hour stuck on a laser net. Got time to think. Who is this guy? Who killed him? And what kind of surveillance was he doing right across from my apartment? And what's in the metal canister? A bomb. Except if you've really passed with any remembering it? Is it related to my head injury or the injection mark on my arm? Hmm, Tex Murphy. I knew you'd stop by. He says. They're gonna frame him for this guy's murder. That's what people in suits do. He did it. Well, they just had a hell of a party. A party? Yeah, you're here in time for the laser show. How do you do? I should have been Carl Donaldo. Is that you? Or him? Look, I just stumbled on this little nightmare, and I needed to find out who this guy was and what he was doing. I'm a PI, and I assume the guy's Maldonado. My name's Murphy. Who are you? Mason and Maldonado's PI. Were you working with Mason too? I'll be honest. I don't know if I work with Mason or not. Actually, I'm having a severe memory problem here. So anything to tell me about Maldonado or Mason or what's this in the crowd chamber here would be great to make for you. You're looking real suspicious there, Tex Murphy. I think I set an alarm when I came in here. I don't usually do this kind of thing. I was just trying to help Mason. He said, come in here, find the PI, get the cryo chamber, and keep it safe. Hey, 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 I, I, uh, Slurr, you have to find Mason. I think he's in big trouble with that. He, I don't know why. He's in your office, for God's sake. Do you have to promise me that if I you, you go, you won't come after me. Go find Mason. Oh, I promise. My fingers are so rose I can't cross. If your memory problem is hard on this, Mace is the only one who can help you. So you need to find him and bring him back to just as much as I do. I'll be in contact. All right. Freedom. All right, save game. Indigo. Here we go. Well, that is the Tesla effect. I forget if this game had a subtitle or not. Game has me interested, that's for sure. Thank you for watching.